back everyone to the Velvet Lounge cooking series. Today I wanted to just show you quickly how I make my baked, almost crispy fried chicken wings. It's very simple. I have here just a few chicken wings. You could actually make a lot more if you want to. And what I'm using for spices is by Goya at Sazon. I'm using some oregano, granulated garlic, onion powder. I'm using white pepper. You can use black pepper if you want to. And my secret ingredient is crystallized ginger. So what I'm going to do is simply take and, and these have, this chicken has already been um, rinsed off and I added a tiny bit of lemon juice just to get a little bit of um, citrus in there. But if I can open this, what I'm going to do is just sprinkle my saison on there. You know, you want to spice both sides, so I'm going to do half a side at a time. I'll flip it over and do the other side. I'm going to put my oregano, you know, and you can put as much or as little of any of these spices as you choose. It's all about getting that flavor and you know if you like a little bit more or less of one or maybe you want to eliminate one that's also fine but this is how we like it the most and people compliment me on this recipe all of the time and all it is is about the blend of spices and my oven has been preheated to 375 this chicken will cook for approximately 30 to 35 minutes. And like your crystallized ginger is very concentrated in flavor, so you don't want to overdo it. And then as I said, I would flip these over. I'll put some of my excess spices there. And then I will simply take care of the other side. And I only use like half of a packet of saison. I don't use a whole packet. And as you can see, I did not include salt. And the reason why is saison already has some salt in it. It has a natto, which adds color, and it's all nat and that's natural. It does have some MSG in it, which is a naturally occurring um, mineral. So if you're allergic to MS MSG, you could purchase a natto separately, and then you could salt, you know, yourself. And look at the other ingredients that are on the packet, and buy every ingredient except for anything that has MSG in it, and you could use it in this recipe as well. Let's hit it with our ginger. Days, did I get the um, white pepper on the side? I don't think so. I'll throw some white pepper on there. That's my little assistant again. Yep, you're right. I didn't do it. So what I will do next is take a separate pan. And in this, I'm going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Use any olive oil you want. It can be... You know, but I like olive oil, so that's what I'm using. Some people will even buy that spray stuff. I don't like the spray stuff. So I like to use actual oil, and it's usually olive oil. It's coating just the bottom of the pan. Just, as you can see, I mean, that was like maybe one and a half teaspoons, or maybe a tablespoon of, um, oil that I used. And then I'm just going to fit these in the pan and they should be skin side up. The reason I do that is I want my skin to come out crispy. So I don't want it to lay down in the pan. It's okay if the bottom does, but I don't want the top to. And you can take some of your excess spices that you have in your preparation pan and you can just rub them, you know, on the other side of your chicken if you feel like there's not you know, enough there. And when we prepare chicken, it's the chicken wings, it's the entire wing. This nub, we don't cut that off. We keep that on there because it's good picking meat. 
And if you like to pick out the bones, that's a good little piece to pick out. And so that's it for the preparation. So I'm going to put these in the oven. And they will cook for approximately, they will cook for approximately, like I said, 30 to 35 minutes. But through the magic, to television, I'm going to show you what I made earlier. This is a little pan of chicken that I prepared earlier that's already done. You hear that? That's, that noise is the crispiness of the chicken. That's why I call this my oven baked fried crispy chicken. There's no frying, but when you eat it, you almost feel like you're biting into a piece of nicely fried chicken. So this has probably, I can't imagine how many less calories because it's not cooked in a oil and also because it's baked in the oven. So here you go. We're going to enjoy this today. We'd like you guys to Please subscribe to our channel. Please leave a comment below and let us know what spices you like to use in your crispy fried baked chicken. And also, please share us. So thank you so much. Please remember to comment, subscribe, share. This is the Velvet Lounge checking out, and we will talk to you later.